Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. Today I wanted to talk to you about USB cables. You know, you can even buy a USB cable these days at a dollar store. And it really does make a difference what type of cable you buy for certain applications. If you've ever had experienced a scanner that didn't work properly or a webcam especially, or if you're used to something with a high charge rate, let's say that you've plugged in an external battery or your phone into the computer and it takes forever for it to charge. This can be a symptom of a small cable that's used. Now, if we get a close up on the numbers on this cable, you'll see two sets of numbers. Usually it's like 28 slash 28 or 28 slash 24 and that refers to the thickness of the wire that's inside the cables and the first number will be for the thickness of the data lines and then the second number will refer to the power lines generally 28 gauge is used for data and that works just fine now if you buy a cheap one at the dollar store and it's 28 28 that means the data line is 28 and the power line's 28. It's better to have a 2824. Now the cable is going to cost you more, but the 24 gauge is approximately 60% thicker wire than the 28, and that will greatly enhance your charging time that it takes for something to charge up. I know if you do long runs on USB devices, with a cheap cord this can often result in loss of data so I just wanted to put it out there for you what to check for when you go to buy a cord now if you buy one from the dollar store don't expect much in fact they may be marked as 2828 but don't count on it because if they come from overseas chances are they can stamp them to whatever they want okay it's best to spend a few extra bucks and you will be surprised at just how good if you, a cable from 2828 to 2824. So I just wanted to put that out there. Look at your cables. It can make all the difference in the world. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link, and leave a question, and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.